Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jennifer here and I am back today filming another makeup video. I know it might look a little crazy. I have like one eyebrow done, one eyebrow not done. We are going to get into that in just a second. Today's video is actually going to be how to snatch your face, lift your face using makeup. So I know there are some videos going around on YouTube on how to do this. They've been going around for a while. I actually watched Laura Lee's video on this not too long ago and I was really inspired um, by her techniques which are actually a lot of the same techniques I use. So I just wanted to share these tips with you guys and they're actually really beginner friendly so if you're new to the game these tips will actually be really good for you and oh yeah if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so yeah let's go do have my foundation on and then as you guys can see so the first thing that i did was um, i did this eyebrow and what I've been doing with my eyebrows lately is like doing a lot more of a fluffy natural brow. And the way that I've been achieving that is either doing a like soap brow with my revolution brow or on simpler days I've been using to absolutely love this product my 24 hour brow setter by benefit and this is this product is like no joke so i went ahead and did one brow so that you guys could like immediately see the difference my eyebrows like go down they like grow downward which like makes my eyes look really droopy and i have really big eyes so it doesn't do me any favors like anything that makes my eyes I'm sorry I have like I feel like I have a hair right here it doesn't do me any favors like anything that makes my eyes look droopy but I have learned to do is to like pull the hairs upward so that they're going like up and away from my eye so that they're like boop 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 and then to kind of fill them in that way and then after i do that i kind of just like take something and like push them up against my skin what i've done is i've just taken like my soap brow and again if you're not familiar with doing soap brows it's not a big deal you can use again like something like the 24-hour brow setter you can use hair gel and I literally will just like take them and first I'll just get a like really good coating of the soap on there before I even like try to do anything with them so you can make sure they're coated in it and then I'll go in and start like really pushing them into my skin Okay, so now the next technique that we're going to move into is concealer. And I know back in the day, like I used to pack on so much concealer, but that's what we were all doing. Like now, it's like softer makeup is in. That's just that's just where it's at. Softer makeup is in. So what I tend to do is just put some right here. I do take it up into like the corner of my eye because I have so much darkness right there. When you come to the corner of the eye, you really want to apply it in a upward motion. So, boop, 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 boop. Then down the center of the nose. And then a tiny bit right 
above the lip to the corner of the eye here you always want to go in a upward motion so you're like lifting your eye right here and just starting to create that almondy almost like cat eye shape but without any like heavy makeup and then whatever is left on my beauty blender I will use just to cancel out all of the discoloration on my lids. I'm going to take my cream contour and then on a brush we're going to hit the places that we normally do with contour. So with the cheekbones we want to hit right here, right on the very bottom of the cheekbone. So not here, like where we used to contour in the 90s, like all the way down here, but we wanna hit right up at the base of that cheekbone. Not a lot, we just wanna hit very slightly. So because I have a slender jaw here, like my face goes in a lot right here, the part of my jaw that I hit is the bone that pops out right here. So I hit that. And always look in the mirror and make sure that you've taken in your contour evenly so that you've stopped at the same point on both sides of your face. On the temples. So I feel like contouring the nose is very different for everyone because everyone's nose shape is so different. So I have a hump right here from breaking my nose when I was a little girl. And then I also tend to, I tend to have a problem contouring the bottom part of my nose because it widens right there. So I will bring my contour in a lot up here because of the hump. And then I will tend to slant it down here because it widens at the like very tip of my nose I don't know it's hard to explain but contouring your nose is very personal to you because everyone's nose shape is so so different so I tend to let the nose contour sit the longest um, and I'm going to blend out the rest of the contour um, first. Always blend your contour up into the cheekbone area, never downward. And it's okay if you get a little messy with it because we will clean that up with um, bake later on. And we are going to bake our face a tiny bit. So you can see with the powder that I've really sharpened up that contour line just so that we can have a really like snatched up uh, contour line. But I'm not using a super like bright powder because um, I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm using more of a powder that like matches my skin tone to do this because I don't want it to be anything that's like crazy, crazy harsh when I dust it away. Okay, so next is going to be blush to kind of finish up the complexion products. And I'm gonna show you how to place that so that it also lifts your cheekbones as well. So I'm gonna be using my Alamar um, palette, which is one of my favorites. And the best way to apply blush um, if for this purpose to like lift is with an angle um, brush. So when you're trying to lift the cheekbones with blush, even though I do love blush like on the apples of my cheeks like that, is probably one of my favorite ways to wear blush for this purpose. I'm sorry, I'm having like 
an itching attack again. It's like horrible. Um, for this purpose, you wanna apply it like starting right here and then just sweep it backwards. And then also apply it along the temples as well. But very lightly around the temples. Just a slight little wash. And you wanna avoid like this like apple part of your cheek right here. I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush than I normally do sometimes because a lot of times when I'm applying my highlight, I will like just go, I will just go ham with it. Um, but when I'm trying to do like more of a sculpted, lifted look, I try to be more strategic with it. So I'm only going to be applying it like right here on the high points of my face and then also like brow bone and then in the middle of the forehead. Taking some up, dusting a lot of it off and then just with very light pressure going on the very high point of my face. So when I'm looking directly at you, you should not be able to see like any streak of highlight. It should be like when I turn that you get that glisten and that glow. And then on the middle of the forehead right here, that will also draw attention to the highest point of literally your face. So putting highlight there will draw, how rude, shut up the highest point of your face. So you wanna take your damp beauty blender and just push all that into your skin. Okay, so now to start off the eyes, we're just going to take a fluffy brush and then just to make sure that we do everything in the correct shape, we're going to just hold something right at the corner here and just throw some, I'm literally just throwing a bronzer in the crease. But I'm holding something here to make sure that it's gonna keep in with that like almondy shape that I want my eye to have. And I'm also not taking it all the way in here because I don't wanna do like too rounded of a shape. My eyes are already very circular and like so round so I don't want to take it in all the way I want to stop like right here so I extend that bronzer pretty far out and that's literally all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow I am going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to put the same bronzer just to kind of like contour the lower lash line a little bit now to really get the eyes going, we are going to take my brown eyeliner. You could do this with black. I'm just doing it with brown today because it's softer. It's softer. I don't know what's wrong with me, honestly. Um, and we are going to create a wing, but we're going to create like a blown out softer wing, not as harsh as like with a liquid liner. First, I'm going to just draw that. Now when I get into the like very tip of my, tip of my inner corner of my eye, I'm going to make it very thin. I have an angle brush and then I have a thin like little definer brush here um, that I'm going to use to really like blow out the wing and 
thin it out on both corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, and then we'll recreate it on the other eye. We're back. I have some lashes here. I actually got these from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has been getting in some bomb lashes, guys. Like, no joke. No joke. And I'm going to cut these pretty much in half. Um, and I'm going to cut them from the outer corner. I'm going to use like the inner part of the lash. What we're gonna do for the lips is I'm going to be taking a pretty dark lip liner. You can use any lip liner that's comparable. It's still in the nude family, like don't get me wrong, like this is still a nude lip liner. I'm actually going to be taking a combination of two. These are the e.l.f. Retro um, Nude Lip Liners, which are, like, I don't, if I can't find these again when I run out of these, I will honestly cry. So what I actually do with the lash, it's going to be kind of hard to, like, for you guys to see because I'm going to be, like, looking down is I don't apply it. So first of all, I'm doing just a half a lash, which is gonna automatically give us like more of a cat eye effect because we're only applying a lash to the outer part of our eye. So that's gonna automatically give us a more almond cat eye effect. But I'm also not applying it to my lash line. I'm applying it away from my lash line. So because I have a, a round eye, like my lashes automatically like kind of go I want my lashes to like perk up. I want the lash away from my natural lashes. So I want a gap in between, if that makes sense. Now we're gonna go in first with the lighter one of the e.l.f. retro. If you don't have these, just use like similar colors. And I overline the most in the center. So my natural lip like ends like right here and I overline to like right there. Top, I, my natural lip ends like right here so you'll see how much I, I overline. I'll do one side and then show you. So you guys can see like my natural lip ends like here and I overline to there. So a lot of overlining on the top lip where the cupid's bow is. Now I'm gonna go in with the darker one and do some outlining with this. So for a lipstick, I'm going to take this ColourPop I think it's dream date and apply that. And then what I like to do is take the darker shade or like whatever lip liner you used and go back and just re-outline. I don't typically do my eyelashes like this. Um, I don't typically do my blush like this, but I really do like it. Like I feel like the face looks very snatchy, watchy. I feel like the eyes look very lifted. My eyebrows are very fluffy today. Like they are, they are here and they are loud and they are proud. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like all these techniques. I think that these are some game changing techniques that have been around for a while. Hope you guys enjoyed, but yeah, uh, that is it for me guys. And until the next one, I love you and you are amazing and beautiful inside and out just the way you are. You do not need to change. Don't let anyone tell you any different and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.